Yeah, can you see this? Okay. All right. Okay, yeah. So um, when it comes to methods of presentation, you know, um, like even when we, um, you know, each one of you presented, um, which was, I think uh, you looked at, you looked at it as um, maybe like a textual sermon or, um, you know, uh, or a, uh, uh, or a simple exhortation, um, and, and so on, right? So, um, just a minute. so there are several other ways by which we could um, uh, present ourselves. Okay, given the fact that okay, we, we let's say you have more time, uh, you just have more than twelve minutes, and uh, um, you could use any of these methods. So, um, in the notes, I'm on page fifty-one. Yeah, so the first one would be, um, you know, an argument where we we kind of um, preempt, right? Preempt, and uh, uh, we share some, you know, possible objections to whatever you're presenting. You know, let's say you're talking about uh, living a life of righteousness. Okay, so what could be the possible objections that um, people might have that the you know uh, uh, that that the audience might have. You know, you look at the audience. You look at the age, uh, the uh, the situation in which they are in, the environment that they are in, the circumstance that they are in, and uh, and you can think of several uh, objections. You know, maybe if it's a college student, you know, you could have uh, you know um, uh, a different set of objections. If it's a if it's a young working professional, you could have a different set. So walking in righteousness, what could be some of the challenges? What could be some of the um, objections that people might have to the truth that you're presenting, the thesis that you're making, right? And uh, and you can take each one of them and uh, share what scripture uh, has to say, right? What do we find in scripture about these objections? And we see that Paul does that. Know, in one Corinthians, he's, he talks about now about food offered to idols, now about you know uh, marriage, and uh, now about uh, spiritual gifts, right? So he he takes each of these topics and he shares uh, about them. Right? Uh, so you we could we could take that approach. That is one. The uh, second one is admonition, which means it is a warning, right? It is a warning. And it this can be a word in season, right? Uh, where you feel in your heart, deeply stirring um, uh, in your heart, and you feel compelled to share that you know this is something that the, the congregation is struggling with, or you know, there's a it could be several people in the congregation, but God wants you to share that message. It's it's a message of warning. It's an admonition, admonition meaning um, you know, saying that this is how you're living, but you need to stop right now. Before it's too late, so it's a it's a word of warning. It is it's an admonition. Uh, maybe you know there are uh, there you know it could be you know like a, uh, a timely word. Um, maybe there's domestic violence as part of the culture of the you know of the, of the congregation audience. Um, maybe there's verbal abuse. Maybe there's domestic violence and so on. And the Lord is putting in your heart to you know share a strong word of admonition. Right now. We can definitely, you know, you know, take this approach, uh, but also, um, uh, you know, you know, you know, it's typically for the audience, for the congregation. So you can't really include yourself in it, and so you you might not say we, but you might you will have to, you know, very strongly say it's happening. You you need to stop doing this. Uh, God is saying stop uh, but at the same time let it be with grace right let it come as uh, something that is uh, seasoned with grace what is the way out what is the lord uh, you know showing as a way out um, what is the lord showing what is the open door that is there and uh, which you can step out step into and come out of this Right. So uh, it can be a very firm word of admonition, um, but at the same time, let it be with grace. Right? Um, and also, 
the entire message need not be an admonition the entire message can be about the righteousness of god or the or the standards of god or the love of god the holiness of god uh, about who he is and why he wants us to you know live in a certain way the consequences of not living in a certain way because he's he's uh, a god who wants the best for us right and uh, and then you know definitely the admonition Okay. And and on similar lines is also indirect conviction. You know something um, uh, something similar to what uh, David uh, Nathan, the prophet Nathan, came and uh, uh, and you know he kind of confronted David, but it was a very indirect um, kind of a, a way in which he did it. Right? He talked about what was the injustice that was happening. And he did it in the form of a story, and uh, he, you know, when 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 David was um, um, so so compelled, and he was, he was he was just so stirred up about the injustice in his kingdom, and uh, you know, he knew that it was morally wrong, and 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 then Nathan shared about, "Oh, King, it is you. you know, this is what you have done." So it can be, uh, you know, an indirect conviction as well. Right? Uh, exhortation and appeal yeah this is something that i think all of us are familiar with so i i won't go into that um it can also be a vision casting you know it is typically for uh, maybe you know your spiritual leader in a congregation of a congregation a fellowship and uh, you can and there are times when you have to you know uh, share the big picture you know the direction in which, um, as a spiritual, uh, as a spiritual leader, you know the direction in which, um, the direction direction which uh, God has given you, the big picture which God has given you, uh, for the fellowship or for the group or for the house church or, you know, whatever it is that God is, it could be it could be big, it could be small, you know, but um, there will be times when you need to cast a vision. Right, share the vision, share the big picture, and uh, uh, maybe there are people who need to be part of it who are sitting right there, right? And uh, so, uh, so as a response to this message, you know, they will be part of this, and and in doing so, they will fulfill um, God's plan for their lives, God's vision for their lives as well, and being part of this vision. So, uh, so the, sharing the big picture about what the ministry is about sharing the big picture about what um you know the life as a believer and what uh, the life as a minister of god is about and so on so uh a, a vision casting right? so it need not be always about the organization it could always it could also be the possibilities of uh, you know of overcoming life the possibilities of um you know life of righteousness or several examples right so giving a vision of what is possible in christ uh, for the believer you know, maybe they're, they're all at a you know you you sense that god is um calling everyone to step up and uh, and uh, and step up and reach out and and not play not be in that kind of place of status quo you know which has happened which has been there for many years and maybe step out of a comfort zone so god is giving this you know this vision saying okay you step out of the boat and step out in faith and i will be there right so um so there are times when you need to uh, present that as well so that that could be uh, the direction of the message right it could also be a dilemma and a resolution okay so there could be a problem and uh, a resolution of the problem you know uh, so uh, this is the problem in today's world. This is a problem in uh, in the life of the church. This is a problem in the life of uh, a married couple. Or this is the problem of uh, that singles are challenges that singles are facing. Um, this is a problem of society. Okay, it could be several uh, uh, things that could be uh, you know sev one of the several things um, that you should share just now and the resolution of that or the solution for that particular problem which is uh, scriptural, which is biblical, right? Which uh, God wants us, uh, wants us to pursue in order to, uh, you know, in order to solve that, right? Then it could also be in the form of questions. Now, this is very uh, uh, interesting. 
it could be uh, questions about uh, about the faith itself right it could it could take on a direction like uh, you know like uh, apologetics right um uh, it could be in the form of questions it could be in the form of uh, I, I remember uh, mentioning right we did a series called reasons um some time back where people could uh, email or text in the questions and these this message series, which is about, I think, two-part series or three-part series, had just questions, right? uh, different kinds of questions and the biblical response um, to those questions. Right? So it, it was from various uh, topics, various categories, like theology and um, customs, culture, uh, lifestyle, marriage. Uh, so people had a lot of questions. You know, is it okay to do this? Can I do that? Uh, you know, what do you think about this? Can I celebrate this? Can I do that? Can I live like this? Um, and so on. So, um, so what does scripture talk about that? What is, what is the biblical standpoint? So, uh, you know, we, we could take that approach. Okay. We're going to address five questions today. And, you know, you look at these five questions um, and, uh, and then the thing is to introduce it well saying, because these questions uh, may not be connected, right. To, to each other they could be uh, you know one could be about marriage one could be about politics one could be about several things right so uh, the thing is you just need to uh, prepare the congregation address it i mean uh, kind of uh, prepare introduce it well and to say that yes you know this is a category these are the questions and this is what we're going to be looking at and uh, and that will be very very uh, very useful right uh, and intellectually it will make sense and uh, uh, and also the reasons for our belief. You know, why do we believe what we believe? Uh, will will be uh, it will be very useful for a believer, right? Uh, uh, it, it can be for a for a new believer and also for you know for a disciple of the Lord uh, in order to disciple others, right? in order to build up others. Um, so it, this will be a very uh, uh, useful uh, direction to take in this message. So you know. <clears throat> In, in the future, when you get um, opportunities to share, uh, you could think of these. Uh, you could think, pray, think about these and say, okay, God, you know, uh, I have, I've been reading about this and you're giving me revelation about this uh, from the word. I've been looking at this topic. Um, so how can I present this? And how, what is the best way to present this? Um, do I just preach it? Do I teach it? Do you want me to take this approach? So uh, just ask the Lord and the Lord will guide. Uh, and it can be a very, um, uh, very interesting, a very um, uh, engaging way of presenting the truth. Right? It's, um, it's the same truth. There's no compromise on that, but you're presenting it in a very, very uh, interesting, engaging way that is that is relevant for the congregation, and maybe it's a it's something that is necessary for them at that in that you know at that season. So, um, so you could think of all this, all these ways, right? So, argument, admonition, indirect conviction, exhortation, vision casting, dilemma resolution, and in the form of questions. Okay, so that's something um, you, you know that. Um, that I, I really wanted to uh, share uh, with us uh, before we kind of wind up <clears throat> for this semester. So, um, yeah, also um, just want to uh, request you all, if there's, um, you can also, you know, email me and, uh, um, and share, okay, what is it that can be uh, areas of improvement, like with regard to the course, uh, with regard uh, to, with regard to the uh, teaching methodology, and uh, I always find this feedback very useful. I'm able to use that to, you know, constantly uh, change and improve the way. Right? Uh, it could be about, you know, uh, uh, presentation. It could be about uh, the methodology. It could be about uh, several things, right? Uh, about the resource material. It could be about. So, what are the areas of improvement? Okay. So, um, so that is something that you can share, and and also you can also share about, of course, you know, um, what you liked about the course and uh, and so on. So we had to kind of, you know, normally this is uh, taught in person, right? And it's very effective in person because uh, everyone gets to, you know, stand up and preach and make a presentation, and um, and all of us get to 
here and and, and in person in, in person it's it's much more effective of course so since we're doing it online we had to kind of improvise and do this um, and also for the e platform we had to you know think of a different different method so um so you can all also you know share what are the ways by which we can improvise or improve on what is uh, currently being done right i think that will be useful so you can email uh, i think you have my email id um just one second please i think it's uh, yeah um or you can just put it on the stream also that's also fine um uh, if you see bible college dot org yeah that's it okay so yeah um so yeah so that's uh, that's all that i wanted to share uh today um so why don't we pray and then close right um so let's uh, let's just pray and uh, um let's just uh, pray for each other right now and uh, declare god's word declare god's uh, uh you know what god has for each other we just spend some time doing that maybe take the next 10 minutes to do that and uh, if the lord is uh, you know showing you something if it's um, kind of um, you know for someone maybe there's a word for someone maybe there's a promise for someone uh, you can put it on the chat as well okay so we are just going to uh, pray i'll just lead in a you know a, a time of prayer and then uh, and after that we could spend some time just listening to the lord um hearing what he has to say and uh, and we can you know declare that over uh, each other okay let's uh, let's take some time to do this okay hallelujah thank you lord thank you father thank you lord lord what a joy it is to be called um, your servants god what a joy it is to be called your children lord lord what a joy it is to be called uh, lord your co-heirs with christ god and what a privilege to be called lord co-laborers father we thank you we thank you we bless your name we bless your name lord we bless your name holy spirit come have your way god come have your way among us thank you thank you lord yeah thank you um yeah i just feel uh, that one of the things that we need to you know we can kind of go back and be strong in and be sure of is, um, is, is and all the things that have been freely given to us in Christ right all the things that have been freely given to us in Christ and how the holy spirit is the one who shows us reveals to us uh, all the things that have been freely given to us in Christ so um, in sense that we need to just get back to that and uh, and look into the word and ask the lord lord show me show me those things yeah, what you have freely given me that i that i may receive in it that i may walk in it you know maybe there are some of those things that we are not uh maybe we are ignorant of maybe we are not really walking uh, uh, in it meaning you know that needs to work in our lives you know we need to intentionally pursue those things it could be the authority no i believe or it could be uh, us being used by god to maybe in the area of healing or deliverance or uh maybe in the area of teaching others maybe in the area of evangelism you know uh, uh so we for whatever reason we've held back or we've not really looked at it and um so uh, maybe we can just uh, spend some time on that say god you you show me lord you teach me lord i'm willing lord uh, because you've um you've called and you've you anointed empowered made it made me able to walk in it so thank you lord thank you lord this morning we just want to i just want to bring the entire class lord those who are here those of us who are not here not connected and those on the e learning platform and um this commit each and every person lord uh, into your mighty hands god thank you thank you for the call uh, that you have on each and every person so unique so wonderful god we thank you thank you lord you placed each one of us um lord uniquely positioned each one of us lord uniquely oh god to be your spokes persons god to be 
or the dispensers of the aroma of Christ, of oh God, you placed us there strategically, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, thank you, Lord. Yes, Father God, the words that we speak, oh God, the life that we live, God. Yes, God. Uh, or even the hidden things, our motives, attitudes, everything, God. Lord, may we be the aroma of Christ where you placed us. Oh, bless your name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, you're, um, you're just pushing us into that, Lord. Pushing us into that. Pulling us into that, God. Uh, because that is your heart's desire. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. And we just we just yield to your drawing in love, God. You're drawing us in love and Lord in, into that higher realm, oh God, to walk in that higher realm, not out of compulsion, not out of guilt or anything, but totally set free to walk in it, God. Set free in our spirits to walk in it, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I just uh, declare your blessing over each and every person here. God, I uh, just pray uh, over Charles, over Maxon, over Abhishek, over Alice, over Abni and Rupa and Rose and Beth and Subhajit and Abraham and blessing. And God, we um, just pray for the others who are not here as well. And I just pray, God, that each one of us, God, um, Lord, uh, will be, Lord, taught of you. Oh, God, that each one of us will be rooted in your word, God. That our hearts will be tender to the leading of your spirit, oh, God. Oh, God, that we, we will be people, oh, God, who will seek after, Lord, you with our whole heart, God, wholeheartedly, God. That we'll be people who will tremble at your word, oh, Father God. That we'll be people who will esteem your word, oh God, that we be people, oh Father God, who will Lord, treat as precious, Lord, the voice of the Spirit, the leading of the Spirit, oh God, that we will so conduct our lives, oh God, that uh, so as to please you, Father God, that, uh, yes, Lord, even our innermost desires, Lord, will be pleasing in your sight, oh Father God, will be pleasing to you, oh Father God, and that we will, Lord, continue to delight ourselves in you, God, that our walk, oh God, this walk of righteousness, God, will not be a drudgery, oh God, will not be something boring, but, but will be will be an exciting one. Will be something that um, that we delight in, Father God. And so, God, I pray that you will ordain times and seasons in our lives, Lord, that we can just, Lord, spend time in your presence, Lord, saturate, um, Lord, being saturated by your presence and your power, oh Father God. I pray that our times of fellowship with you will be such, oh God, that, Lord, that we'll be so, Lord, saturated by the light of your Spirit, oh God, the light of the gospel, oh God, that uh, each one of us, the very fiber of our beings will change oh god yes lord our even our innermost desires and everything will change oh god our walk will change lord our, our speech and everything will change our imaginations lord will, will change oh god i thank you master I thank you for that constant transformation lord that is in you uh, and that we have in christ god even as the lord take glimpse of your glory we know that we are being transformed we are being changed lord, into that same image into lord into your image we thank you we thank you we thank you and lord i just pray for the fire Oh God, uh, of the gospel, Lord, the fire, a passion for your name, God, to, to just burn, burn in us, to be stirred up in us, Master, that we will be spokespersons, God, through our life, first and foremost, and through the words that we speak, oh God. Yes, Lord, wherever you have placed us, God, that we will reach out to those who are hurting, Lord, and that we will reach out, oh God, that we will step out of our comfort zone, oh God, and, uh, and display Christ and uh, share Christ, share the gospel. Yes, oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. Um, yeah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, I just pray that you would move us into action. Move us into action. Yes, Lord, we have maybe we've spent a lot of time just um, just being positioned. Um, and I'm just reminded of these action figures, you know, that we have to play with. Uh, maybe it's a war thing or, uh, you know, some of these action figures. Uh, um, and sometimes, you know, we play with that and we, you know, position these action figures. But um, I believe the Lord is 
moving us to actually, you know, uh, to 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 action, right? uh, not just being positioned as as action figures uh, stationary, but actually moving us to action, moving us to act. Uh, hallelujah! Thank you, thank you, Father God. Thank you. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah, just go ahead and, um, you know, we, if there's anything that the Lord is putting in your heart for maybe someone in the class, uh, you could just share that. You could, you know, just seek the Lord, just ask the Lord, Lord, what is it? And maybe it can be a word of encouragement. Maybe it's something very specific, a word of knowledge. Um, uh, you know, uh, whatever the Lord is um, uh, putting in your hearts, maybe sh showing you something. Uh, let's ask the Lord. You know, the Lord is a God uh, who speaks, right? Uh, and what a privilege it is that He's a God who's here, real, you know, in real time and speaking. So, yeah. So let's do that. Hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, we are thankful to you that you are God, a God that speaks, a God that hears, a God that responds. Lord, you are a God that <clears throat> understands us when we are weak, when we are strong, when we are able, when we are unable. You call us when we are not equipped, you equip us. You call us when we are weak, you strengthen us. You call us when we are unable, you give us the ability. We thank you for the time that we've spent studying your word, studying different things that are aiding us to rightly divide the word of truth. Lord, we thank you. Now, um, we were studying about visitations, Lord outpourings. Lord, we are believing you for an outpouring in our time at this dispensation, O oh Lord, of your grace that you are releasing an outpouring. Therefore, Lord, we beseech you, we ask you that you position us as the sons of Issachar, who are able to understand seasons and times that, Lord, we shall not be caught unawares, but instead we shall understand the days and times of our visitations, that we will be able to appropriate the power of the visitation and be able to be used of you during that time. We read that David, when he had finished his work, he died and was buried. Therefore, Lord, use us for what you brought us on this earth. Now that we have learned this, you again tell us that teachers will be asked many because they know a lot. We know a lot. Lord, we pray that you bring us to action. Swing us into action. Prepare us, O oh Lord. Swing us, O oh Lord. Prepare us, O oh Lord. Like you did to Peter, like you did to John, you did to Paul, you did to many. People would see them and they would say, and these people not land, but see what they are doing. Therefore, Lord, even for us, we have already learned, so we are a bit better than them. But Lord, that is not the point. The point is, we break us, melt us, Lord, mold us, but again, fill us with your power of the Spirit. That, Lord, when you have made us as new wine skins, you pour your new wine and we are able to be used of you. Lord, that the teams that have been on this training, even when we are done with the first semester of the second year, use us, oh Lord, to overturn the world, yes, to overturn the world, depopulate hell, and Lord, be able to be used to block and suspend and disannul the powers of the enemy and welcome the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you have allowed us to be used of you. Lord, we pray that you will continue to use us. We are here, O oh Lord. We release our bodies, that we will use our bodies.
take our hands take our feet take our bodies take our brains take our tongues take everything go lord that you have given us here we are yes we pray that you will dread in us but oh lord that your word will work in us that we will be able to speak the word the word that is unstoppable because you are an unstoppable god and we believe that your spirit is unstoppable therefore we are also unstoppable thank you jesus we love you we honor you we bless your name in jesus name we pray and believe amen 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 anyone else um, just want to pray and go ahead here uh, is i just have a, a quick word for maxon uh, maxon um you saw this uh, picture of uh, you know the a crutch being taken away uh, from you you know um, maybe it's something i don't know physical or maybe something even emotional you know something that uh, you had to lean on um, till you were strong you know uh, i believe the lord maybe you know emotionally spiritually you know something that you had to lean on uh, and external support and till they were they had to be healing you know in you uh, but um i see that the lord is saying it's time to throw away the crutch because you are you are strong um, that you have been healed uh, whatever it is i don't know if it's emotionally physically whatever but um i don't know I, i'm sorry i don't know the specifics of it but um, but this is what i sense that it's time to throw away the crutch um because you are strong and you are healed uh, god bless you Shana. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Praise God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, would anyone else like to pray? Maybe. specifically for someone or maybe even for the class um, you know in whatever direction the lord is putting in your heart you could do that yeah. we'll just join together and say amen to that yeah sure yeah. um this another quick word again for rose actually um rose uh, um it says that um, you know um like you've been very vulnerable with god and with people and uh, sometimes uh you know stuff happens and um uh you know and you know and it just kind of affects you not been able to you know uh, stop the dirt that you know from people maybe uh, whatever they've been you know telling against you or uh, something that you've not been able to stop but um uh but um uh, i believe the lord is saying that he'll raise up a standard you know it's like that mud guard in a cycle in a bicycle if you've seen you know the mud guard in a bicycle it's just covers right in front and it's a useful thing and um, yes uh, we need to be vulnerable and uh, you know transparent and open uh, before god and and that's definitely a strength but, uh, uh, but at the same time um uh, i believe the lord is uh, uh, you know uh, is your protector and uh, he is that shield and and also the wisdom to you know um uh, to um to make sure that um that you are protected you know um it's it's not that you know you don't want to um be transparent or be open but um but i i and i just see that as a as a mud god that the lord would uh, give you the wisdom or he will be your shield and um to to just keep functioning right the way you were designed to function to keep thriving like right? emotionally physically spiritually um i believe that uh, the lord is doing that yeah god bless um uh, shiva he was in that mm he was in that he was in that um anyone else wants to pray just go ahead yeah um yeah.
Um, Subhajit, would you like to pray and uh, kind of bring these things to a close? And I'll just uh, share and then close. Yeah. So. Um, your mic is muted, uh, Subhajit. Okay, I'm not sure somebody can hear. Uh, is there someone else? Maybe like Shri Kumar or I don't know, anyone else, you know? Can just yes, uh, Yeah, go ahead, uh, Shri. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Father, we thank you and praise you and honor you, God, for this wonderful day. Lord Master, thank you for everything what you did, O oh Lord, Father God, for each one of us. Thank you for this journey. Thank you for Lord and Master for your wisdom. Thank you for your revelation, O oh God, Master. Lord, we give you all the glory, honor, and praises. Lord, every precious word what we heard, every push, precious word what we received, O oh God, let it not be taken away by the enemy. Let it not be choked, O oh Father God, when the Lord, Master, when we, when we face the persecutions in our life, oh Father God. Give us grace and faith, O oh Father God, to use that word as a spirit of the sword, O oh Father God, so that we can overcome every temptations, every trials, and every 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 plan of the enemy, O oh God. And let we able to shine for your kingdom. Let we able to shine for your name, O oh Jesus. Let we able to finish the race what you've given to us, O oh God. We humble ourselves, O oh Father God. Sanctify us, cover us under your blood, O oh God. Lord, use us, O oh Father God, so that your kingdom and your name be glorified. All the glory, honor, and praises belongs to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Shri Thank you. Thank you. So thank you, everyone. So hopefully we'll uh, meet next semester for whatever course you're taking. And but if this is the last semester for you guys, so uh, for some of you, all the very best. God bless. It was uh, it was nice. It was just a, uh, like I was saying, it was really a privilege to get to know you and uh, and share these things with you. Right? So don't um, forget to. Uh, send in your feedback you can email your feedback um yeah two things that you can think of you know what is it that you liked about the course what is it that was helpful and secondly also what are the areas that we can improve on um, and you can be frank you can be uh, you know uh, there's no problem you can just say okay this didn't help me at all or this should have been you know uh, uh, better uh, whatever it could be in the presentation it could be in the resources whatever uh, so that will be helpful for for us to make those changes corrections okay right god bless you guys uh see you bye bye thank you pastor catch up yeah bye bye thank you pastor thank you bye bye god bless <laughs> thank you pastor see you thank you pastor thank you pastor bye bye and yeah, Merry Christmas. We God love bless. you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> Charles, God bless. It was great meeting yeah, you. Yeah, very soon we are coming. We are coming for our graduation. We will be able to give you a hug. Ah. Corona will be over. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, it'd be great to meet you guys in person. Yeah. You know. Okay. Bye-bye. God bless. See you.